Just days after her victory, Kansas Governor-elect Laura Kelly is already making her transition to the governor's office. Uh, she met first with the current governor, Jeff Collier, and now she's laying out her agenda. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling is in Topeka with what she says is her first priority. This governor's office will look a whole lot different in a few months as governor like Laura Kelly takes over. She has a lot she wants to get done, but knows it'll take a lot of bipartisanship to get most of it accomplished. Am I reading this wrong? In front of a row of cameras, Kansas governor-elect Laura Kelly talks for the first time since voters elected her to the top spot in the state. I'm looking forward to a very smooth and efficient uh, transition. Kelly's first priority is putting more money into public education, saying it's the backbone of the community. Expanding Medicaid is another priority, but admits it'll be a steeper hill to climb, as well as fixing roads and bridges, and believes that will pay for itself. As we reinvest in some of the things that are the biggest economic drivers in the state, our schools, our roads, in Medicaid expansion, uh, that we're going to see uh, the revenue base uh, broaden. Uh, without a need to raise taxes. Democrat Kelly faces a Republican-led House and Senate and adds she will put together a bipartisan team to lead Kansas forward. We will take the best ideas, no matter who they come from, and we'll work together to mend the damage that's been done during the Brownback uh, years. Kelly also mentioned she's in favor of policies promoting gun control as well as regulating medical marijuana. Kelly will be inaugurated January 14th. Reporting in Topeka, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.